Welcome back. Well, the kids are headed back to school, so today our craft expert, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show off some creative ways that families can go green with their school lunches. And I love the focus that we're paying on, you know, going green and kids eating healthy at school this year. Yeah, those are two good things yeah. to try to aim for. Everyone knows who's ever taken a lunch to school, the plastic baggie, you know, we've used a lot of these. Yes. My yes. kids are taking lunches for the first time this year, and okay. I'm kind of starting to think about, okay, how can I not throw these in the garbage every day? Right, right. So what I d came up with here is I'm using a laminated fabric, which is kind of glossy on one side here, has a lamination. This is regular um, fabric on the other side. Okay. You can get this at local craft stores, craft stores or, okay. or if you can't find what you're looking for, you know, shop online as well, but always try to support your local craft store first. Of course. Um, what we're making here is a little sandwich pouch. These are so cute. And little, ch um, this can be for your grapes or your um, pretzels or whatever else. Yeah, okay. And we have a sample in front of what we're, we're shooting for here. On the little lunch tray. This is such a good idea, Jennifer. Oh my gosh. Now, I wrote this tutorial for PetitePearls.com, which is an online magazine. They're going to go live with a tutorial on Monday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday, but I didn't want to make people wait until okay, okay. school started. So, first thing you do is make yourself a little template. I use freezer paper. This is 8 inches by 16, and then just draw a little triangle at the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Put this down. You're going to cut two pieces of fabric that is your laminated fabric, and this is to make the sandwich sleeve. Okay, so you're going to put those right sides together so that. We have a lot to cover, so I'm going to just walk you through really okay. fast here. You sew all the way around. Leave a little opening at the bottom, about three inches, so you can turn and it right side out. And this is the rough side. This is not the laminate this side. Is, right. This is the wrong side of the fabric. And okay. then what you're going to do is take your scissors and clip all the way around So on this curve here so it will turn properly. Okay. And then you just turn this right side out. Okay. Okay. And we'll kind of skip ahead because we know how that's going to look. Then you're left with um, your sleeve here. I fold it up the bottom. The bottom of the sleeve. Okay. And then what you do, this is the part where, that I, I love because it's the easiest part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just put a little, this is a Velcro tab with a sticky back. Um, I've learned, don't try to sew through these, and I actually just put the tab, the other side, right on it. And then you close it. Okay. Just push it down. And then that should stick right where it's supposed to, just oh, like nice. that. Oh, so no sew part I would have here. tried trying to guess, and then it would have well, been all crooked. Well, and if you sew through the sticky stuff, you ruin your machine. It jams up your machine, so okay. I wouldn't do it. Okay, the next part, to make the little snack pack, 12-inch square. I just cut this out of freezer paper, and then you can actually iron this right down to the wrong side. Do not iron the front side of this laminated fabric, because it will kind <laughs> of get all, all over you. But if you, um, you can iron the square right down and just cut your template. So okay. then what you're left with is a piece, just a regular square of laminated fabric. Fold it so the inside, the glossy part, is facing itself here. Sew around the edge. Once again, leave an opening about three inches, the top or bottom, okay? okay? Sew right around here, clip your corners. And then, da -da -da. I take a five inch piece of Velcro, okay? Cut that so you have at the top and bottom, sew okay. that in place. And when you're sewing that in place, you're gonna close up your opening. Mm -hmm. And of course, we had to turn this right side out first. Right. So in case people were wondering how I got from one step to the next. Right. And then you just fold this in half, okay? Just like this, have that Velcro facing itself. And one thing I gotta mention here, this is a special foot. Normally, the foot on your machine is a metal okay. foot. Um, I'm using a uh, Ultra Glide foot, or you can use a Templon foot, because when, when you sew on this kind of fabric, it's, of course, um, when you sew on this kind of fabric, it will jam up in your machine. It won't glide. So you need okay. to have a special foot on here. And I think okay. I picked this up for about $16. I mean, I only we're completely out of time, but okay. um, these you can't put it in the dishwasher, but you can rinse out. You can rinse them out. Yeah, definitely want to rinse them out. Don't throw it in your sewing machine or in your washing, washing machine, machine. But you can just w w spot clean, rinse them out, let them dry overnight, and they're ready for lunch. And the real next quick, day. your your article for this weekend. Yes, um, I'm featuring Elborn Cedor, and okay. she is a woman who taught me how to do some pine needle weaving. In front of her on the screen, there you can see those are mats. She wove them completely out of pine needles. Wow. So, and not only is she skilled what at crafting, she's a, um, an athlete. She's played softball up to age 79. <laughs> I <laughs> so, love that. So, and and she, she's 80 now, but she doesn't look it. And cool. she's just a rock star in crafting and sports. So check that story out in Sunday's Home and Garden Jennifer, section. Jennifer, as always, thank you. We appreciate it. We can find more information on Jennifer's crafts on our website at WZZM13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links. Now, coming up next, cast members from